Hey, Andrea. Yeah? What you working on? Um, well, one thing I've been working on has been modifying the wearality into an AR headset using our laser cutter. I cut out these things with it that you can slot together and then slide into a wearality headset to which I've added a, a sun shield. And then I modified our VR code so that something that like this looks ridiculous if you actually look at it without being an AR headset. And if you look around, there are, you know, now some cubes, like there's one here and one here. And there's a dodecahedron over here, which I put my hand in the middle. And it was interesting to me when I made this, that even though this is like, you know, the $5 version of a Magic Leap, <laughs> and it's still the case that if I look at the dodecahedron and like put my hand in it, then I it, haven't tried that. I want to try it. And like it sort of feels like my hand is the fake thing and the dodecahedron is real. The dodecahedron's that way. Dodecahedron. Mm. Put head in. <laughs> it has a hat that is a dodecahedron. So yeah, up until now we've been working entirely in VR, so like the whole world is being replaced by this new whole imaginary world. But I've been interested in seeing like what can you do if you overlaid your new world or parts of things onto the real world. That was recorded back in October 2015, but the prototype still survives and is now available. Both the code for the web AR on your phone and for the laser cutter files for building the physical part of the headset. Uh, those are available as well at lvr.com. At the moment, it's being used to augment some physical sculptures by Emily Eifler. These are her unscannables with digital scans of those sculptures. It's quite a different experience having just the rotational and no positional tracking than with new toys like the HoloLens, but we always have something to learn from building it ourselves and having complete access to the software and hardware.